the lung fibrosis is also known as pulmonary fibrosis is a group of lung diseases in which the, there is a scarring of lung tissue and there is a thickening of lung parenchyma so this is as as i mentioned this is a group of diseases it's not a single entity so there are more than 200 types of lung fibrosis in which because of the different causes there can be the lung scarring if we divide the causes of lung fibrosis to so two broad groups we divide like for whom we know the cause and the other group is where we really don't know the cause and this particular group is known as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and this is a, quite a common cause for the lung fibrosis but if we talk about the causes which are known to us so there are many causes because there are more than 200 different types of uh, lung fibrosis so the causes are also various so important causes but i want to enumerate here are smoking which can cause a scarring of lung along with the bronchitis problem and exposure to dust smoke fumes occupational exposure to certain chemicals like you know sand silica dust and asbestos fibers exposures they can cause the lung scarring certain uh, medications especially the patients who are on cancer therapy and who are on certain chemotherapy the chemotherapy drugs can do the lung scarring similarly the same group of patients they are sometime on radiation therapy for the breast cancer in cases of female so the lung also get the radiation exposure so we call it the radiation fibrosis and some infection as we were talking a lot during the covid time that covid infection is causing the fibrosis of the lung so certain infections are also responsible to cause the lung fibrosis and sometimes it runs in the family that some person in the family member had and the, the it passes to the family member which we call a familial lung fibrosis certain other medical conditions are there like connective tissue diseases like arthritis rheumatoid arthritis they can also cause the lung fibrosis so the list is really very big but these are the common ones which we encounter day to day basis the uh, symptoms of lung fibrosis are not different from the other lung diseases like these patient will also complain of shortness of breath and cough but there is some peculiarity about the shortness of breath so they uh, complain initially that uh, doing routine activity uh, they feel breathless so doing dressing undressing going to the bathroom in the advanced cases they can feeling breathless doing this activity so most of the lung diseases can have a, a cough which can produce a sputum but this particular disease like lung fibrosis where there is a scarring uh, characteristically they don't produce any mucus or phlegm so dry cough is the another important alarming symptom which uh, patients come to us with the lung fibrosis because of the chronic cough and breathing difficulty these patients complains of tiredness easy fatigability and uh, when we see them they are really rapid and shallow breathing pattern so cough and shortness of breath are the two important symptoms which what they present to us usually there are more than 200 types of causative agents and 200 types of interstitial lung disease and we name them very differently for because of their causative agents so when we uh, encounter a patient with cough and breathing difficulty we take the detailed history detailed history means we are take talking about their occupation their smoking habits their present or past history any medical treatment they are taking and family members has certain in, uh, a certain kind of illness or what are their ho- hobbies and which environment they live so to we can easily find out like we have to really behave like a sherlock to find out what can be the causative agent for this particular particular case after taking the detailed history we do the uh, physical examination and in this particular group of patient we hear crackling sounds in their lungs which again alerts us this case is going to be an interstitial lung disease or case of the lung fibrosis then we ask for the chest x ray which is kind of a norm in if we are suspecting a lung disease but in many of the cases the chest x ray can be normal in cases of pulmonary fibrosis especially when the disease is in the early stages so a ct scan of chest is very important to establish a diagnosis of lung fibrosis then we have to set certain investigation suspecting the cause like blood test and lung function test is done to see how uh, 
good their lung is functioning and the if the the scar lung is able to generate oxygen or not we also ask that such patient to walk for 6 minute to see if there any drop in oxygen in this group of patients and very rarely uh, we need to go for the bronchoscopy and bronchoscopic lung biopsy or a surgical lung biopsy for this particular group of patients to establish our diagnosis of lung fibrosis cough cold you know the can, that can happens acutely also so acutely means uh, having a viral symptom a flu like symptoms having cough cold fever throat pain so and if it gets subsided in 5 7 days then we don't need to really worry about it and these type of cough cold are usually not associated with shortness of breath but the disease if they like most of the interstitial lung disease the lung fibrosis they are subacute to chronic what what does it mean is that they usually present in the history of months that we have breathlessness or breathing difficulty since 2 to 3 months so don't ignore your cough and breathing difficulty for 2 to 3 months that is the right time to see the doctor and he may probably will do the examination of you and if we find that crackling sound probably be asking for a chest x ray or ct scan to diagnose your disease early so that is the right time unfortunately uh, once the lungs get scarred or fibrosed so it's very difficult to reverse it so uh, the most of the treatment focuses on improving the quality of life of patients and alleviating their symptoms decreasing their symptoms and making them feel better on the day to day basis and if not we can just halt the progression of uh, fibrosis if, if possible but yes there are anti fibrotic medications available in the market which have proven to be uh, decreasing the decline of lung fibrosis and making the disease uh, stable uh, other than anti fibrotics uh, other important thing is the oxygen therapy so what is the main work of lung uh, lung is to generate oxygen and remove carbon dioxide so when the uh, lung gets scarred so there is a fibrosis so lung cannot uh, generate the proper amount of oxygen so some this group of patient they sometimes require oxygen therapy at home also and breathing exercise pulmonary rehabilitations uh, help a lot for such group of patients and sometimes when we are exhausted with all this strategy a lung transplantation is uh, the another option in patients with lung fibrosis lung fibrosis patients uh, can complicate in the respiratory failure respiratory failure means their lungs are not making oxygen so they will go or they will require long term oxygen therapy at home and sometimes this fibrosis can even lead to uh, complications like heart failure predominantly the right sided of heart failure and uh, uh, they become very thin emaciated and the weakness part is so profound in them that they they go in depression so you know the person who cannot do daily routine activity feels so depressed that going to the toilet bathroom and all he feels so breathless and he need oxygen he has to come back and take so depression anxiety is another complication seen in the uh, patients with the uh, uh, interstitial lung disease or lung fibrosis if certain part of the lung has already been scarred or fibrous it is very difficult to reverse it but yes we can save the other part of the lung so if we know the cause like it happens because of this exposure to stone dust or due to certain medication so we need to stop all the causative agent dust smoke fumes and all can aggravate the uh, lung fibrosis so that can be stopped second is regular a medications with whatever the anti fibrotic oxygen therapy is available in the market for them they should take from the pulmonologist so uh, but what lies the most important in this particular group is that they need to be diagnosed early and uh, so that we don't get a scar lung to to happen in the first case patients who have been diagnosed with lung fibrosis should follow their chest specialist or pulmonologist on the regular basis so uh, as for the known causes the disease is going to a little reverse or the progression is going to stop 
do regular breathing exercise stay away from the environment which can aggravate your problems like in the dust smoke fumes if you have fibrosis because of the exposure to birds or uh, animals excreta or droppings so you should stay away from this thing or some stone cutters or farmers they get lung fibrosis because they are working in this particular environment so we ask them to stay away from uh, such uh, exposure or dust smoke and fume and uh, taking the regular medication having a follow up with your doctor is required for this group of patients 